Hi, I'm Brianna Fritz, and I am Verizon's lead for community engagement here in Michigan and here in Detroit. And we're so thrilled to be here today uh, with our wonderful community partners at Code 313, Martel Welsh, and also from Verizon, our director of consumer sales, Nicole Barnes, who's been spearheading a lot of our amazing volunteer efforts with Code 313 over the years. So we're gonna dig in a little bit more and talk more about what Steam Slam is and why we're engaged. So Bartel, thank you again so much for hosting us and for your continued partnership. Verizon has, I know, such a longstanding partnership with you and we've been working with you for years on Steam Slam, which is an incredible program to bring scholars together here in Detroit to learn about STEAM and all aspects of it. So I was hoping that, you know, we could kick things off in our conversation today and you can tell us a little bit more about Code 313 and some of your goals and objectives and what you've been up to over the last um, few years with your organization. Well, first of all, thank you for being here and thank you for always being a great partner for Code 313. Um, we started Code 313 in 2019 uh, with the mission to provide equitable access to STEAM education, uh, specifically in the Metro Detroit area. Uh, we work with youth ages 7 to 17 and with families that work with those um, youth. Uh, our mission, uh, as stated, basically is to provide those resources that are missing in schools in the local area and to show kids the, the reason behind the why in the subjects that they're learning inside of school. Uh, so we give them hands-on activities, including, you know, coding, cybersecurity, virtual reality, drones, uh, robotics, you name it. Uh, we're trying to make sure that they can touch them and have hands-on experiences to uh, give them a different pathway for life and career pathways and choices for the future. It's amazing work. And I know I've been to a number of these events over the years, and just to see it in action is incredible. Can you tell us a little bit more about how Verizon has been supporting your mission over the years? Yeah, Verizon was one of our first partners, which was uh, a wonderful thing. I actually met Nicole at one of our first events, and uh, it was a partnership made in heaven, is what I say. Um, you know, one of our biggest things, you know, we don't have a huge staff. We, we run off of volunteerism and community partners, uh, and the first event we had, um, which actually was March 7th of 2020, I'll never forget. Uh, it was three days before lockdown for COVID. And they brought out 20 plus volunteers for our event. <laughs> they had more people there than we had staff. And ever since it's been the same way. Every, every event, even if I call last minute, days before, hours before, somehow or another, they'll find a way to make sure that we're taken care of. Uh, and that's been great for our longevity um, at this moment. Um, so uh, outside of that, on the technology side, they've been able to uh, share resources, you know, give us ideas and ways to handle some of the situations we've been in, it's including internet, because uh, we have 5G internet that we take with us to every single event that we, uh, we do, because internet is usually a problem when we're in certain facilities or buildings. Um, so having our own Wi-Fi there has been great, um, you know, amongst other things. If I call, I have any type of technical issues or problems. I have people from the Verizon team here all the way to California uh, that I can reach out to. So it's, it's been awesome. That's great. And it's wonderful to hear how our investment and partnership goes beyond, you know, just just a, a financial or a grant, but into people power and the power of the Verizon networks and being able to power your connectivity to make all of these exciting demonstrations happen. Can you tell us a little bit more about what is actually happening today and, and you know, the technology and the different aspects and, and how that 5G is enabling everything to, to flow seamlessly? Oh, definitely. So uh, our Steam Slam is a partnership we do with the Detroit Pistons. And the purpose behind it is to bring in youth from all over the Metro Detroit area to just go through stations of what we call our activations, where they can go and they'll touch different technologies, play um, and experience things. So upstairs right now we have, you know, drone simulators, we have robotics, we have virtual reality, we have all types of stations. And the, the beauty behind it is, um, you know, utilizing our 5G devices, 
we're able to connect to the internet to power our virtual reality because we we pull down different scenarios for them then um, to take place in and then within our drone simulators that also have to be connected we have you know we have i think five of the 5g <laughs> boxes upstairs you know so we're never without internet we don't have to worry about that as being a problem so uh and you know again the purpose is just for them to come out and have fun you know take a day off from school and and get you know exposure to the different technologies so that we can then take it back to their school and uh you know, add those classes and curriculum to uh, what they have at their school already. That's phenomenal. Thank you. And we know, and you've alluded to this, that all of this is made possible by this amazing force of volunteers from so many partners, but Ryzen's really played a really critical role in that over the years. And so I'm so excited, Nicole, that you're joining us today and that you're able to come and you really been a leader in this space and cultivating our partnership with Code 313 over the years. So I was hoping you could share a little bit more about why and how our volunteers have been supportive of this initiative, not just this year, but but for a while now. Verizon is a very resource-rich organization, but we have a firm belief that um, we have a responsibility to give back to the communities that which we serve. Um, taking that a level down, our employees really, really enjoy partnering with Code 313 from the standpoint of being able to teach the children as we go through the stations. Um, we always have a, a very good response when we send out volunteer uh, opportunities for Code 313. And it's as enriching and rewarding for us as it is for the, for the children. Um, seeing those moments where um, they, they get it, where the technology becomes meaningful to them and it's something that they can walk out with, it's tangible, they'll take it with them. And over the course of the last five years that we've been involved with Code 313, seeing some of the children who are repeat um, participants in some of the programs and how they're maturing and the confidence level that they're getting, um, it's just very rewarding for us. And so um, we've got volunteers over the course of the last few years. We've had um, several hundred of our retail employees who volunteered, and um, we have as much fun as the kids do most of the day. So. That's amazing. And we do see it every day. And we know how important it is at Verizon for us to be engaged in the communities that we work in, you know, between our, our retail employees and our networks. Like we have very intimate relationships on the ground in our local communities. And so being able to give back isn't just wonderful for the communities that we're in, but for our employees, because it's important to them at the end of the day. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, maybe why this is important for Verizon as a company and, you know, like the, from just from the upskilling and reskilling and the STEM space, why this is such an important partnership? So many layers here. But when we think about STEM and we think about it from the standpoint of education, you know, a lot of people will think about it from the standpoint of science and, and mathematics. And those two subjects are incredibly important on their own. But if you put in all the other elements of STEM or even incorporating it into STEAM, um, what these programs and the engagement that these children have in these programs teach them is the ability to become critical thinkers, to become a flexible and adaptive learners. And that really helps in every facet of their education and in, in every facet of society. In addition, this is the next generation where I customer. This is the next generation of Verizon employee. This is the next um, generation of, uh, you know, technology leaders in, in our world. And so this is an investment that will have a material return um, as we continue to sow into, into this community. When we think about Citizen Verizon and our commitment to upskilling and reskilling, but also volunteerism, this is just a perfect melding with all of those different things, because we do know that STEAM education really is at like the bedrock of getting ready for those good paying tech jobs of the future. And so we see it, and I know we see it in our work every single day. Bartel, um, so I was just hoping you could tell us a little bit more about why the STEAM education is so important, why the students get so excited about it. Like what, what are you hear from, from the, the scholars, the young scholars that come here and, and spend the time and commitment to furthering their education? One of the main important reasons I do this is, you know, personally, I've worked in tech fields for over 20 years. And I know, and we all know, technology is not going anywhere but up. Um, there are jobs that go unfilled every day um, because we don't have enough resources to fill those jobs. 
So, you know, the, the workforce that we're going to gain from this, we're trying to teach the youth that instead of just being a consumer of technology, you also can learn to be a producer. And, and that's extremely important right now. Uh, we have technology that still needs to be created that's not there yet. Um, you can just think how far a cell phone has come just in the last 10 years or even over the last two years, uh, right? So those innovations continue to drive us forward. And the only way that we're gonna get those new innovations, those new ideas is by continuing to push that workforce. Um, so that's for me what drives this. Uh, for the youth, you know, again, they use this technology every day. Uh, it's, but them learning and seeing and creating it's what also allows them to explore their inner self and other things that they didn't even know was possible. Um, so, you know, when that happens, you start to see the excitement on their faces, the, the, the smiles, the, the oohs, the ahs. And, and then when you put the other piece behind it to let them know, oh, you can make this amount of money and you can live very well, you can live like a rock star, you know, type of thing. <laughs> It, it really uh, pushes and drives that imagination and that excitement. Cool. Yeah, definitely. And I loved what you said about going beyond being a consumer and being a creator. And when you think about it, it's so exciting because these young people, these young scholars, they're going to be working in jobs that don't even exist. We can't even conceptualize what those jobs might be in the future. So it's really just an incredible and beautiful thing. Just a few more questions. Um, Nicole, what excites you most? I know we've kind of touched on a few different things. Like if there is one thing that excites you most about our partnership and our work on Steam Slam and our work with Bartel and Code 313, what is it? Um, I think the thing that excites me the most is that Code 313 is homegrown. So like myself and Bartel, we're both um, you know, born and raised here in Detroit. And so having the visibility of where this community has come from and where it's going. Um, this group has been able to be extremely agile in shifting to the needs of the community. And so every year, while there is a core program that Code 313 engages in, as needs arise, whether that's you know through the pandemic or a change in how public education is funded in Detroit or the, uh, you know, the, the literacy deficit for, for technology, this group is very creative and thinking about what does the community need and then how can we best serve it. And that partnership is exciting for me. It's exciting to make sure that we're able to see the impact of the work that we're doing in the community that we live in. Definitely. And I think that's a great tee up to Bartel, me just being curious, what's next? You know, what's what's on the horizon for Code 313 and what are you planning for the future? Uh, sky's the limit. No, uh, <laughs> no, uh, you know, it's, you know, over the last five years, uh, at this point, we've reached about 60,000. Uh, I want that to be our yearly impact, you know, and not over a five-year period. I, I, I want us to continue to expand through more schools, through more community organizations, and then eventually taking it outside of Michigan, outside of Detroit. Um, you know, we, here in Michigan, we've gone as far as, you know, up north and things like that, but I, you know, I want to continue to drive what we're doing forward and push the envelope and going to other cities that may not have this yet. Uh, you know, going to New Orleans where I went to school and things like that, or going to Baltimore where my son was at school or Chicago where my daughter's, you know, yeah. these places that I have relationships with and seeing where those communities need exactly what we're doing as well. Uh, so, you know, it's to, it's to continue to uh, create the model that we can then take and um, explore and reach as many youth as possible. And the sky truly is the limit. And it's so exciting because Verizon is here to support you on that mission. And we're, you know, also committed to the work that you're doing. And I love, Nicole, what you said about, you know, just the homegrown and dynamic attitude. And really, it's fabulous to be able to plug Citizen Verizon into these efforts. Citizen Verizon is our responsible business plan. And how we work in our local communities and support these things that support the business too, because we want our workforce to look like Detroit. We want our workforce to look like Michigan and all these different communities, Boston and, and you know, places in New Jersey. And so it's just so fabulous. And I, I want to say how much we appreciate our partnership and how much it means to us and our employees and Nicole, how much, again, 
I know everyone appreciates the work that your team has put into this and all of your efforts. So thank you both so much for being here today, for taking a few minutes to talk to me. I know we have a lot of exciting things happening upstairs. And so I'm just uh, thrilled to dig in and, um, you know, start working with the students. And again, thank you.